Put her up. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and uh, give me the horn. <laughs> There's the famous Roadrunner beep. All right, give it some gas. There you go. There's the exhaust note. So what I need you to do now is reach a terminal velocity of 200 miles an hour so we can uh, demonstrate the downforce that the wind, the wing. So give me 10 seconds. Yo, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And the growl, you hear the growl under full acceleration. He's got the thing everybody wants a muscle car for. Scoot. Front and ground. The interesting thing about this car is uh, is its story. I, I mentioned earlier that it's petty blue, um, and everybody wants a petty blue bird. I mean, the king made this color legendary, and even Cars the movie, you know, decided to codify it into Pixar Disney's history too. But this car, like a lot of super birds, Chrysler was optimistic. They had 1,500 and some odd orders for Daytonas. They only made 500. They had pent up demand. Petty wanted to come back to Plymouth to race. He said, build me a wing car. They took the the uh, the Roadrunner and turned it into this thing. And they built as many, they one per dealer, because the NASCAR rules changed and they were fine with that because they thought they could sell that many given the pent up demand or the unmet demand that they had with the Daytona. What they ended up finding out was a lot of them sat around. They were impractical, they were weird looking. And uh, this car in particular sat in a lot until 1971 as a vitamin C orange car. It's the way it was born. And a guy comes along and says, I'll buy that car if you paint it petty blue, just like the Kings. And uh, before he could get the words out of his mouth, the dealer pulled the car into the body shop and painted it petty blue and it's been that way since its first owner to now and when they restored this car earlier in the 2000s the owner said you know what put it back the way it was delivered to the first owner so they painted it orange and then they painted it petty blue and that's the way the car sits today and we have historical photos showing that uh, the car in 1973, Petty Blue with a little bit of vitamin C showing through the, the front nose cone grill. It's a great story, and all great cars have great stories.